Now, uh, sadly today we've only got a couple of hours here. Um, if you follow us on social media, you know that we had an incident with lost car key, which has caused an amount of stress I can't Hi. even begin to describe to you. Um, but we're going to get, it's probably going to be a short vlog because we haven't got as much time. No, we usually do the full day. Yeah, but we're going to try and get close. through as much as we can. Uh, now, the two main things that we want to do in this um, is the Lima Woods because yes. they have not been open the last two years because of Covid mm -hmm. and the lorikeets because I don't know they've just not been able to get through yeah. them uh, we know that the Lima's are open today so, so, we'll so. I'm just seeing the sign for it whether we'll be successful on the lorikeets I really don't know um, but we're going to try and do <laughs> as much as we can within the hours that we've got uh, we have got two other videos from Blackpool Zoo um, previously last year and the year before um, the year before was also unsuccessful because it rained all day um, so <laughs> we're going to do as much as we can and obviously there's uh, there's other content on the channel if you want to go uh, go check that out for a bit more Blackpool Zoo vloggage um, but we're going to head straight to the lemurs because they close at 3 o'clock um, and we're going to check them out because it's a really good lemur enclosure here isn't it? It's a really good lemur enclosure and we do tend to find that uh, the lemurs here are actually quite active aren't mm, they? Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a really good lemur. They're thing. always out and they're quite friendly, aren't they? Yeah. They're Little too friendly in some circumstances, <laughs> but I'm not going to complain of that. So they've made us out to be right liars because none of them are in the walkthrough section. They're all hiding right at the back. Here behind the fence. Mm. I mean, this is still the same enclosure as the walkthrough, but this bit here you can't see it's from the walkthrough. Limits, yeah. yeah. Um, so. There's like a big mound, and then these are the other side of it. But they're all there, bless them. So it's either because they found a good spot to sun, yes. or they're just sick of humans I was for the day. Thinking that, cause it's a nice sunny day, and it, this they're actually in the sun here, so that's mm. probably why they're here, I guess. Um, oh, that's a shame that they're not on the walkthrough, but at least oh, we got to see them. They're all cleaning each other and oh. stuff. You're anti-social, get over there! <laughs> Rude! Do they just have the ring tail here? I they only have remember. ring tail in this one, yeah. Oh, I think they have more... Right the oh. shot. I think they have more lemurs in that other bit, don't they? They're Possibly, just not, I don't know. Because they've got the mouse lemur, haven't they? Your memory's a lot better than mine. <laughs> oh, they do, yeah, they do, yeah, they do have a mouse, mouse lemur. lemur. Um, oh, They are cute, though. You they can't are beat really a good cute. lemur, can They you? are beautiful. I love them. Even if they are anti-social. <laughs> Also, I mean, we don't normally take a look at these, but I didn't realise there were so many of them. It's, um, is it Rhea? Is that what they're called? Yes. Yeah. It's like the, like the emu-y looking sort of thing. Yeah, I didn't realise there was this many. Because these are right by the, um... And they've got, aren't these the ones that we can never pronounce? The yeah, it's like a... a big baiku. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a, like a alpaca -y sort of looking animal, yeah. but we can never pronounce its name. It starts with a V. I and then there's the llamas behind us. Llamas there, can you see them? There we go. Um, this used to be the big camel enclosure where the llamas are now. But um, the camels are now where the elephants used to be. And now the elephants have got a much bigger enclosure near the start of the, the zoo dinosaurs. yeah because all of chester zoo's uh, not chester zoo sorry all of twycross zoo's elephants um moved over here so they've now got a bigger herd um so they needed more space so there's a a bigger elephant enclosure near the front mm, yeah. nice elephant enclosure as well yeah it is a nice we might head up there a bit. we mm. don't know um on time um but we pre-booked food um, yes. top tip if you book food uh -huh. online you do get money off. Um, we yeah. do plan to only be here for two hours when we booked food. Um, so, I, given the chance, we wouldn't have filled our day with food, really. We'd have waited till no. after, but we yeah. paid for it, so we, we might as well, go, so we as well go have it. Um, so, top tip, if you are coming for a full day, um, you can get a meal deal. I think you get 20% off if you book it online, if we, I think. Yeah, if you pre-book it online. Um, so, we're going to go wolf down a burger and then try and get in some more animals before we <laughs> yeah. close it. Yeah.
Oh dear, so another unsuccessful year <laughs> for the um, Laura Keat walkthrough. <laughs> Three years, Three in, years a in a row, that is now, isn't it? So the first year was closed because of um, COVID. Social distancing. Uh, yeah, yeah, social distancing. Yeah. Last year was the avian flu, and um, this avian year is avian flu. Oh wow, they've got a um, little selfie thing there. Look, that'll be cool. It's a really nice Laura Keaton enclosure as it well. Is. Isn't it is, and gutted that we've <laughs> still not been able to do it it's yet. It's just madness, isn't it? Because I remember the year we came and there was building it, we were so excited for this. Um, maybe next year, maybe next year. Three years later, we've still yeah. not been in it. Yeah. It does look really good though. It's a really nice Laura Keaton enclosure. Yeah. They've got a little pond over here. Ah, that hurt. And I think they. Do they share with some sort of duck or pigeon yeah, or it's something? This thing. Oh, here we clover. go. Oh, a, cl a clover. 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 Um, oh, I can see them at the back. Yeah, I can't can see, see them on the camera because they're very, very small. Um, There's some sort of duck in there as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought this shared it was some sort of duck. I don't know where that is. I can't see a sign for that. I don't know what no. that is. Um, mm. But it's a lovely enclosure, and I'm sure if you walk through, it's an absolutely delightful experience. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, maybe we'll be able to tell you next year. <laughs> maybe, no. hopefully. Um, one thing though, by the entrance of Laura Keats, they used to have like a little guinea pig area. Um, but they've now got uh, meerkats and dwarf mongoose. That's new since and that's we came, new since we came, yeah. They must have built that quite quick because it's got like a proper like wall and everything. Um, we'll come and show you it now anyway. And we saw baby capybara. Oh, that. Yes, <laughs> baby capybara. That's we love a capybara. That's the list. We've never yeah. seen that, I don't think, have no, we? No, no. Never seen baby capybara. Oh, there's some uh -huh. Laura Keats right by the fence here. Keats, can you see them? Probably the fence is a bit so obstructive, beautiful. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful, but bloody oh. noisy. One day my cuties will come see you. I don't know if they sell nectar here like they often do, so you can feed yeah, them. Yeah, they do normally at zoos, don't they? Um, but we'll have to wait another year before yeah. we find them. Yeah, find out. <laughs> I don't think. talking about where they've got a uh, meerkat here there we go and then here they've got dwarf mongoose and look they've got like a proper big wall and everything so before i'm sure it was like like a wooden oh craig's Ooh. fell over again <laughs> it's tripped um, over some sort of stone um, well i tripped over nothing in this there's nothing there <laughs> um so yeah it was was like a little um like a wooden fence with, with yeah. just with guinea no pigs and, and, and rabbits. He's gesturing but... the size of the, <laughs> of the wall and he can't even see it because it's so far down. Yeah, this is nice, isn't it? This one's cute. I like yeah. uh, them. It's, I don't know what's appropriate. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what it is. But yeah, love it. Love it. Cute is. <laughs>
um, the where the lions and the tigers were, they've completely knocked down the house and the building it says here you can see um, a brand new big cat facility opening spring 2023 so that's something exciting for next year when we when we come um, so I, that kind of explains as well why the meerkats are now in that new area that we showed you earlier because before they had the tigers here and they had the house in the middle which had a indoor bit for the tigers then they had a meerkat bit in the middle of that with the lions at the very end. Um, it was a bit weird really, it was a weird place to throw the meerkats in. Yeah, yeah it was a little bit strange oh, to have the... the uh, sorry, there's a thingy. Um, but yeah, so this is really um, interesting. Mm. You can see the structure, can you... Adam's a bit short. You can see the structure going up there, look, for the new enclosure, um, which is where that's well, sort of in the middle of the two, that isn't it? Yeah. The lines. There's still some fencing left um, but far the back where the be. lines used to be. Yeah. You can see the green fencing uh, up here. Oh, I'm not tall enough for this. <laughs> um, and then they've still got some of the old fencing up this side as well. Um, I don't think there's anything other than sort of groundwork going on. Oh, I've got a bit of green no. netting here. Um, no. Not a lot that you can see from here. Um, there's a lot of groundwork going on over here, which I don't even think was previously part of the tiger enclosure, was it? This must have been the fence for it. And then what yeah. was beyond that? I can't know what was beyond that, you know? Okay. No. Capybara's probably, they've got them in abundance oh, here. Yeah, they <laughs> do. They love that, that this place. We love capybara. And capybara everywhere. And they've got like three different enclosures of capybara. They've got capybara with tapia. Got tap capybara with Mara and Anteater, and they've got a capybara with the um, the geese and the ducks and the swans and the spider monk, the gibbons. Sorry. So. Yeah, wasn't that that was here, wasn't it? Oh, it was. You're right. I'm yeah. sure that's what. So there well, maybe there was some sort of monkey, wasn't it? I'm sure. Yeah. There was the some capybara was beyond it. Oh, were the capybara yeah. in that bit on the island? Yeah. On yeah. The island. Oh, so where the monkeys used to be. This must. This probably would be part of the new big cat enclosure. Yeah, I don't know whether I don't know whether they're just using this as like um sort of storage base for like cuz they've got earth here and they've got some of the old fences. So I don't know if they're just using it yeah. um to place stuff while they do the construction or whether that is going to be whether it's going to be extended into here and yeah. this is going to be part of it. Um but it'd be really interesting cuz I don't think I'm trying to think what was the last thing that was new here. I, uh, it would have been the Laura Keats, wasn't it? And yes, the, you know the issue we have with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it'd be really nice to see a new enclosure at um, yeah, Blackpool and sort of see what direction they're mm. they're going in with their new enclosures. So um, it calls it uh, on the small print. It says it's going to be a state of the art modern facility. Yeah, increased indoor space will be complemented by extended external paddocks and improve. Oh, extended external paddocks. So maybe that does mean they're extending yeah. it then. Improved keeper facilities. Oh. Mm, so there oh, you go. Yeah, that's exciting for so, next year. Um, not entirely sure what time we'll be here next year. No. Um, but um, if we are, whatever time we are here, we'll be checking that out. Can't wait yeah. for that. Hopefully, Hopefully we might be, be up in the spring. I don't know. Um, we normally come for Clubland whenever that is on. Um, but there's also a chance that we may be up here earlier for sort of, well, this and Valhalla opening. Yeah. Um, so if they, open, if they open at a similar time, then... We could time it together, couldn't we? It'd be a nice yeah, little be trip. Go and yeah. check out uh, a new enclosure and a uh, refurbished ride. Um, but yeah, that'll be really cool. I'm excited for that. Yeah, yeah.
was a uh, short but sweet trip to Blackpool Zoo. Not the uh, sort of trip we normally would have, but I think to say we've only been here about two and a half hours, we've uh, made good use of the time, haven't we? Definitely. Yeah, I mean we've... it's not it's not a huge zoo, is it? So no, you can you can just about get around it in a couple of hours. Obviously, yeah. it's better to have all day as it always is. But, yeah, because normally um, we do the the you know we loop it. A f few times mm. in a day don't we and we normally spend more time at each animal but we um, have still had time to get around there and yeah everything. like if it yeah. was chester zoo like we'd oh been gosh knackered, wouldn't yeah <laughs> we'd yeah done we done would. about a third of it yeah um, so yeah it's not been too bad um but case are right so uh, you can't do anything about that can you no i mean we missed out the the dinosaur walkthrough area mm. but uh, we do have that on previous um, videos from here so mm. you can always look at that if, and to be fair I mean it's not a bad one but um, dinosaur animatronics are very ten to the dozen now aren't they yeah really? they are everywhere um, most zoos have got them Yorkshire's just built one mm -hmm. Paradise has got them West Midlands has got them West Midlands probably my favorite dinosaur area, yeah definitely um, this one's not bad um, I think I mean they keep popping new ones in um, Oh, brighteners up there look um, they keep popping new ones in but there are still some bits that look quite dated. Yeah, there um, is. This is one of the few places actually they've got one or two um, accurate looking dinosaurs. The recent last time we came, they'd added a feathered one, hadn't they? Mm, they uh, did, which yeah. you don't see very often, even at Yorkshire, um, which is a very, very new one. Um, they're still sort of the lizardy sort of dinosaurs. You don't get the, any of the feathered or the um, sort of hairy dinosaurs um, that are more accurate to what we now uh, know. And they've got a they've got a squirty Dilophosaur, which a lot of them have, don't mm. they? And that's very inaccurate. Um, but yeah, it's a nice dinosaur area, though. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice zoo. It is a really nice zoo. I really mm. like this one. Um, and it's been good to to be back, even if it was for a very short time. <laughs> what um, can you do? Eh? It was nice to see the new area with the meerkats and the mongoose. And uh, hopefully next year we'll finally get into the. Uh, Lorikeets <laughs> and see the brand new big cat you facility. You watched demolished it and put something else there. Yeah. But I'm determined that one year we will get in the lorikeet enclosure if it kills us. Mm. Um, and of course we'll have the um, brand new big, they have they got a name for it? Big cat territory? Big, big cat, cat facility it just says. Uh, okay, yeah. so we don't know exactly what, what it's going to be called. called but, no. um, hopefully we'll have that when we next come. So what we've got coming up next? We have got Hole in Wonder Wizard Golf, which has very recently oh, come to Blackpool. Yes, I, I forgot we was doing that. Um, and then after that it's going to be sort of spook after spook after spook because it's Halloween season so yes. we're doing all of the the theme parks and some individual scare packs as well some of which we've never done before so if you want to see all of that content you know what to do subscribe to this channel if you've liked this video do drop us a comment below and give us a thumbs up <laughs> and is that what you were doing yeah that's what uh, i was trying to do i wasn't paying attention to you oh well we'll see you next time we do <laughs> stuff, stuff.